Hello, I am Andy, and in this talk, I'm going to look at using the RS232 protocol to send bytes of data back and forth from the NX controller to a PC. Now, RS232 is a point to point protocol and it provides a send and receive line between just two devices. On this image, we have an overview of the hardware I'll be using. On the left, we have the controller. Uh, this could also be an NJ controller as um, well as an NX, as all these online controllers support EtherCAT and the function blocks uh, we'll be using. I'm showing uh, the wiring used um, as my PC, uh, like most modern laptops, uh, doesn't have an RS232 port. I'm using the Omron CS1W SIF31 adapter to provide the RS232 port. In practice, um, often the device is connected to the uh, NX controller will be something more like a barcode reader or a way scale um, on the factory floor. But here I'm using uh, free third party emulation software, uh, the Hercules One. Uh, that allows us to easily see the data received and uh, allows us to create data to send. Older Windows operating systems used to offer a terminal program called Hyperterminal. Um, Hercules and the, the other one, Termite, do a very similar job. This image is mainly for reference, so please rewind, pause and screenshot as you need to. It shows the communication settings made on the serial tab of the Hercules software and how they must match the settings for the system you have. On the left are the Sysmax Studio settings and on the right are the windows needed on the PC side. For my setup, I need to know what port number was allocated when I plugged in the SIF, plugged in the CS1W SIF31 adapter. Here's one way you can find it. So bring up your device manager, look under ports, there you'll find where I've highlighted the COM4, so COM port 4 has been allocated. Now we set up the Hercules software to provide our emulation. Double click Hercules to get it to run. It's an exe file. Select the serial tab. Check the setting of those that we want. Parity, data size, etc. And finally, open the port with the green map. Moving on to SysMax Studio now. Um, here we have it online, and we have the uh, settings area for the communications card that we're using. And this is found from the configuration tree on the Project Explorer inside SysMax Studio. And here we can see in purple the settings being made to match up with our configuration. Here we have the number of characters to determine the end of this set of bytes being sent. There's always a help, some information here. So we send the settings we want down to the unit. That was completed and we have a compare function to see what settings are actually on the current unit. As with other online interface cards, the IO mapper is automatically prepared for us. And in my example, I will need just two variables. First, I have to display node location information by right clicking on the SIF item. And I'm not going to use uh, the auto completion. I'm going to type my own name in for the node and also I need to in my example 
with using the function blocks that I'll provide you. We'll come to later. I'm going to use a um, fly called receive data exist. Now I have both SysMac and Hercules software open and I'm ready to test using this pre-prepared program. Uh, the sending program, as you can see on the screen now, needs only four rungs and uses the two functions or function blocks, um, NX serial buff clear and the NX serial send function block. With these two functions, we can simply prepare an array of bytes uh, to send. On rung two, uh, in this example, we're adding ASCII characters to the end of a 31 byte array uh, that we send to the Hercules program. On rung one, I am converting some strings or text data to ASCII bytes uh, for my array being sent. Uh, typically, the format required is defined in a document for the device if it's a uh, barcode reader or uh, way scale. And on the screen you can see uh, the results in the watch table and on the Hercules monitor window. There are some settings in Hercules available, including a clear window with a right click in that window there. And maybe you just carry on with that testing. It all looks okay. Now, if we shift uh, from the sending to the receiving section of the program, we're going to use the NX serial RCV or receive function block. Uh, so we, don't, we have to go over to the Hercules terminal window now and choose what to send. Hercules will uh, allow you to send either hex or, uh, as I'm doing, uh, text characters that in the background will be converted. If you want to work directly with hex, uh, there are some tool tips you can find by right clicking in the Hercules windows and it'll tell you the syntax. So here on the watch window uh, you can see the results of what we're receiving. I'm using the Windows clipboard to cut and paste messages in. It's a nice feature which means you can pre-prepare messages maybe save them on notepad or something. You can see the, the amount of bytes we receive reported by the function block. So if I send those 10 bytes, you can see the received size has changed to 10, and we're not missing any there. Now it's back to 40. Now if we go over and take a closer look at the watch window, you can see a useful feature. Uh, you can arrange the watch window to display all the elements of the array. And you can, on the right hand column, select how you wish that data to be displayed by the combo box. You can choose to display it as ASCII and you can see the online value is changed for you. Uh, worth mentioning, there is a um, monitor built into SysMac Studio for the serial card. Uh, you can find this monitor that we see now um, by going onto the card itself, when with the right click, you'll be able to select the 
CF0 line monitor, which I already have open, and you'll be able to um, start monitoring according to your monitor selection up here. So if I was to uh, start monitoring, you can see the monitor is now running. And if I start sending some data, send this a few times, you can uh, stop monitoring, read the monitor data. I don't want to save it to a file. I just want to take a quick look to see what was going on. See some statistics, and uh, yeah, here's the data 456, 456, 456. These will be these will be the um, ASCII characters four, five, and six. So, I hope you uh, may find that brief introduction to using the SIF RS232 port within SysMAT useful and um, thanks for listening.